Music for me just seems to be an art form that I, I can't even articulate. Musicians and road crews, uh, they're, um, they're a bit gung-ho. You know, we, we don't have super, we don't have job security. It's not like we get hospital pay or we get sick pay. Our charity exists to help music professionals in crisis. One of the nights while I was working, I was um, assaulted and uh, woke up in hospital. Two cops standing over my bed and I'm sort of looking around going, where am I? And uh, one of the cops goes, mate, you just got thumped in the head with a skateboard. My sense of balance was so off that even sitting on my stool at home and playing the guitar, everything was slightly off kilter. You know, a number of people come to us with terminal illnesses and a number of people come to us with short-term sicknesses that they'll recover from. I wasn't going to be able to work for a, a minimum of uh, three months, which ended up being, I think, nine months. That is nine months without an income. One of the factors that really affected me, you know, besides their injury, was um, not being able to support myself. A supporter act really helped me, <laughs> really saved my ass. You know, it's, it's really, really vital. A uh, support act can save lives and can bring musicians back from the dark side, basically. You know, uh, there's so many stories. I went into pathology to get a lump in my arm chip. I remember playing the last notes on the saxophone thinking, that's it, that's that's the end of the saxophone, that's the end of uh, this amazing life I've had. The support act said, look, how can we help? Can we help you um, buy a saxophone, a one-handed saxophone? And, um, and that's amazing, finding out what life's really about, the beauty of really appreciating what I've had, what I've got, and the amazing um, support that I've had from Support Act. And for that hour and a half on stage, those feelings, uh, sharing those feelings and being in touch with those feelings uh, is something really special. And that's what it's about, it's not about driving sports cars. I'd been brought up with my dad for my whole life, it was just him and I. It happened out of nowhere, his passing, so finance wasn't something that I was thinking about at all before then. So having that sorted out and everything for me just let me put my head down to study because I really wanted to finish school. I would have had to be working full time I guess to pay my sister's rent and everything. So it just let me focus literally on my studies for year 12 like as much as I could and um, get into my course now I guess for art. The music industry needs a, an organisation like Support Act because we just we, we don't have any um, any safety net. Depending on, on what your setup was as a musician, like some musicians are very lucky to have a great support network around them where they'll be paying superannuation and they'll be doing these kinds of things and saving for a rainy day, but often a lot of musicians don't and they work really, really hard for a lot of years. People who have fallen on hard times who have been in our industry know that there is support out there for them. There's nothing embarrassing or shameful about saying, I need help. So you make sure if you do need help, you put your hand up and we will do the best that we can to help you out with Support Act. They're a very important organisation that helps anyone in the music industry, from artist to manager to roadie. Um, if they're having financial trouble, it's a charity that supports them. The word real value for an organisation like Support Act doesn't even come close to it. It was amazing to get the call and to, to have Support Act say, look, we are here to support musicians who have come into bad times. It's just nice to know that as musicians ourselves, it's, uh, that there's an organisation there ready to support us if we need help.